I did not talk much about what was yet. I did not even post to the internet all the problems they have done with the bicycle. It was not only stolen the bicycle, but a second bike and then a third bike they had. It was nothing really, but now well, many problems, really many problems. And they were driving me nuts wherever I would go to some store or some place. They would let me know that they did something so they would just not leave me in peace they would not leave me in peace no matter what uh the worst thing was a chain that would uh, keep falling off that was one of the specialties they had a bicycle that you would have to figure out how to fix certain issue and to figure out that they did make sure that you did got yourself a few times dirty that you, you could not avoid that issue, but you actually had to pay them attention. It's like uh, they would be searching for attention or something like that. It's just annoying. Um, then other stuff was involved. They slashed the tire. They did all kinds of stuff like that. But even if they would not do any damage or anything at all, they would definitely do something you know, to basically let me know that they were there. I should say that they are thinking about me. Yeah, they would do something. They would they would just do something that you would you would know. Whatever the play was. I'm not gonna go into this now. Always, whatever store I would enter, if I would park the bicycle outside, boom. Now I got better than that. And this isn't only outside of this place, it happened here too. That started to play. Place I fixed the computer, they started to pay. I don't know, please pay attention to this here. This is basically charging battery, and you're gonna see it stops and it starts again, and it stops and it starts again. Yesterday, I was in the city, and what I did was I parked the car. Um, I was at one, you see. And it stopped charging. Look at that. It's crazy stuff. No, I'm not doing this stuff. I'm not doing any of this. Look, in one hand, I'm recording with another one. I'm going to put here. So that you're not going to think that I am doing this. No, this thing is plugged right there like this. And it goes here like this. Okay. In fact, if I do disconnect this like this, you're going to see basically that is not charging you see it right there now if i do connect this thing back and i'm gonna make sure that they are just totally annoying stuff they do now again is charging but you're gonna see in a little bit it's gonna go and it will disconnect itself it will go and it will disconnect itself okay the thing about all this stuff is that yesterday there you go and it's disconnected and i know so because the screen turns darker and brighter and darker and brighter is like driving you insane i mean seriously i mean look at this you're gonna see what's gonna happen the thing about it is that i did left computer outside and it was not the first time uh inside of the vehicle inside of the car and what happened was it disconnected me a hard drive again. Now, almost every time I, I leave the computer, well, at home it was not here, they did, but in Lochka where I was, it was like this all the time. They were driving insane with that issue. And the same thing now happens if the car uh, computer put leave one inside of the car, that's basically exactly what I get. Exactly what you see right there. This must have been done yesterday. Um, several times prior to that, if I took computer and I went inside of the supermarket, what they would do is they would disconnect the hard drive. Uh, what it looks like if you disconnect the hard drive in this computer? Well, uh, you are prompted to actually enter... Um, a password for either administrator or some other uh, or some other name and uh, you can you see 
you cannot do so because it's like timed you know it's like a time thing on every you can count the seconds no it starts to charge again and it will do again so they, they did destroy me telephones like this if you remember in grotnika the bestiality that went on they broke the telephones chargers now seems like they are to go about my computer and break me computer so you see go from one issue to another and always the same stuff look at that now go ahead and count and you're going to see on however look and it connects again it works um basically driving you nuts all the time they're driving you insane all the time it's always insanity involved it's always insanity involved you buy the car but the car they take they do something to the car that's completely illegal and stuff like that so there's always presence of insanity in this they always do something they go and they do always they cause damage the hard drive basically they have stolen me a housing for the hard drive and as a result of that and believe me it's positioned very very strong i use like a phone to press the hard drive like almost the same thing like if you would have one inside of the housing well they always play with that stuff and they do something to it and it, then it they connect the hard drive and you got this when you come home and it, the hard drive is detached basically the idea is to break me basically um not even the hard drive but basically the interface and the computer so even if you would go and you would get another hard drive you could not fix that stuff now there seems like they have found another sport here as you see they found this kind of insanity so you know this stuff is getting really really so heavy i mean this is just with the most the most interesting part about it is this they have done already before they damaged the battery i'm sure they did i have no idea what they did but they did something to um they i think they reprogrammed the whole thing because whatever is that you do whatever power setting is that you use whatever kind of power setting that you use there is nothing nothing you can do you can go to high performance active this is what i have basically now and i modified everything i absolutely made sure that it does not disconnect itself that is everything the way it's supposed to be as a matter of fact this is something i should actually even demonstrate here right so you're not gonna say hey you know i was so fed up that i put here thousand minutes and i don't know what you know you know what this issue is related to it's related to my telephone it's actually related to my telephone they have done something to the brand new telephone i don't even have one month that does have the same shit. they have done the same thing it doesn't matter what you do when it comes to brightness doesn't matter what the hell you do they break me everything folks destroy everything what whatever i can see is destruction they rip everything apart and make no mistake the one that is doing this is a police is nobody else doing this kind of stuff because there's nobody else that could have access knowledge of where you go all the time and basically trace you and and this and that so look at this here i have the display here look at this sleep after 30 minutes of inactivity you, you can see the settings right here now and i'm gonna make one phone call just something somewhere i don't even even know where i'm gonna make one but i just want to make make you a point basically what happens is what happens is that the minute that you connect yourself with someone when making a phone call the only thing that happens is you lose the the keyboard everything everything turns black like you would put this on a screensaver as a matter of fact i'm not gonna do it now i'm gonna have to do it so let's say it's like this you call number okay you dial the number okay uh let's say that i dial the number d d d d d d d and i dial and it's and the only thing that happens is this that's all you get and you are then again going crazy because of other issues and so on and so forth it's like a, you would like have a screensaver that would just push down through the issues 
hey, I'm not going to go into it. This is so crazy. That is unbelievable. Uh, as a matter of fact, they, the, the telephone already came damaged. They, 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 they made bloody sure that, just look at this thing here, that screen is dying. Oh, you were already able to see that stuff. I just want you to see this from a little, I don't think this would be even, but you can see. Uh, let me see if you're gonna. Now you don't you don't get to see this stuff. It doesn't matter right now. You were able to see that stuff already that I recorded with how how the hell that looked like. Um, what what's going on? What's going on with the camera? Why was it the screen like that? The screen's like this because it's, they did something to, and I have no idea what exactly they have done to it. But if you look at the. You see these dots here. You see, you see what this is. The telephone is bitten up. I have no idea what they have done to it. Have they put the nails in one? They have they nail one with a hammer, or how the hell you do this, or what is it that you do? But you, I'm sure that you can see these white spots. You see the white spots? Yeah, you can see it. Uh, well, that means basically the LCD is most likely cracked. They were cracking one. And you can see when you look at like this, it means that they were cracking one on like a different locations. Uh, so this is what my new telephone looked like, like this. But the telephone come also with all kinds of features that basically this allow you for telephone to even function properly like a telephone. It's insane. You install the programs and as soon as you connect Android, the computer, it automatically uninstalls all the programs you have uh, installed on your telephone. It's a state of the art of, I don't even know how I would say this. Um, I don't actually have the words for anymore for anything. No, this is just not that I want to cry about, complain about, but this is completely crazy. It's completely bizarre stuff that goes on. No. I don't know what, how you resolve this kind of issue. I don't know, but I imagine that this is designed to destroy, to rip my battery, my computer, basically. Computer also dies. That's another interesting feature. As soon as like it's like 10% less from 100%, it gets somewhere to about 90% or something like this. What happens is the hard drive disconnects itself. That means that the software was completely modified and the computer, along with the batteries, with the original batteries from the battery, from the new battery, which I have purchased, never even used on this computer, it's supposed to be a brand that would power this computer easily for about three, four hours. Now, the only thing I get is maybe, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And that's since Grotniki, uh but you know that's a normal it's a normal to steal to rip apart things is a normal thing i have to say i already got somehow used to it but we'll never accept this kind of a ripping violence like this so this is much about i do i know what this is i have no idea i imagine that they screw up the whole windows system and so what i imagine is I would actually have to get something, maybe another hard drive and make the installation of the new Windows brand new one on it. But what are you going to do when you leave the computer? And what do you do? This is big computer. What do you do? Do you walk with this all the time with you? You have a spine problem and you're going to walk with all these things, drag them with you. You see, they're driving you nuts. They're driving you insane. And the one that does this shit is the police. It does affect spine, it does. This is heavy, this is like a kilo and a half computer and you have all other stuff and you walk around with this stuff. Uh, you get hurt like this, literally. And it doesn't help you because you know, they get a hold of it no matter what you do. Even if you go to work, when you're at a job, they get the computer. Whatever is it you do, they eventually get to the computer and they put their filthy fingers inside and do whatever they wanna do. It's a nasty stuff that goes on, folks, for about quite some time now already.